Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode with your boy Striden here. Ten seconds remaining. We're trying to decide what we want to do here, boys. Looks like we're going to need a frontliner. Makoa. And I'm always one to step up. Customize your champion. So I do like to step up and play the roles Prepare that are needed. When I play ranked, uh, for right now, it seems like I, I do tend to get uh, first pick. In that case, play what you're confident with. What do you feel like you can carry the hardest with? I tend to play Lex. Um, I haven't played in a little while, boys, so I'm sorry I haven't uh, making the video, been making the videos as I normally do. But I'll be getting back on that this week. Uh, so again, as always, thank you guys so much for joining us. So we have no healer here. That is unfortunate. BK <laughs> Juden waited all that time and ended up picking a, uh, a damage dealer. So asthma. This actually should be a great video. I'm going to try to do the best I can to just show you uh, kind of what you should do or what you... The only thing you really can do when you're put in this situation. I'm probably going to play a little aggressively. Maybe flank with this Androxus uh, before attacking the point. Um, instead of just going balls to the wall at that point. Because if I'm not really going to have a whole lot of help there. Yes. Chances are I'm just going to get around. You carry the light. Now I am. The battle is about to begin. So I'm going to do the best I can here, boys. To, uh... I guess kind of go with a little more of a, a flanker McCoy. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Still gonna pop that haven because I definitely still intend to be on that point. That is our job. I just intend to uh, try to get some kills before we get there, boys and girls. I mean, they don't have the best front line. I mean, well, they do have a healer though. I mean, Barrack is going to be getting the healing thing. So let's see how this goes, gents. Let's see McCall going over this way. Or, excuse me. Oh, we took the first. First pool, God bless us. We're gonna put up our, our shield now. Try to be any of the damage we can. We see that Tyra, I'm gonna try and pluck her. She's gonna try and bail. Right to the right. Nice, good job, boys. So, so far, so good. That's exactly what we wanted. For whatever reason, Bomb King went to the point. We already get a free flank. This is my first pool, so my. Now normally what I like to do is after I pull is turn, but since Androx is looking right at it, I didn't want to risk him missing any of his shots. Overtime. She was only a one shot. What the, see this is I thought they fixed this. What was that overtime from? Is that only on the first point? I remember somebody saying that they believe it was always happens on the first point. Is that just something built in that's supposed to happen? Oh was not I mean, I was hoping for that grab, but can I, you gotta be honest when I say I wasn't expecting the grab. That was tight. Um, I was hoping I'd pull her through the window. It seems fair that I didn't. It seems that's fair. It still would have been tight, though. Okay, so we're, we're doing a great job here, boys. I mean, considering they have quite a bit of damage uh, on their team. Let's see, they got, yeah, they got a good bit of damage coming out towards us, honest. The Bomb King hasn't really been doing that much, so I, I was gonna, I was trying to think if, if Haven or that Blast Shield would be better, but right now it seems like I've made the right choice. Let's just say, put an end to that immediately. Now, to be fair, I thought maybe grabbing, gra grabbing her may not have been the best idea for most circumstances considering that would have continued the point, or she would have contested at that point, but she was so low health I figured just by grabbing her I would have killed her. Curses. Curses. So I do like to go morale boost on Makoa as well because his ult is fantastic. I really don't have that many issues with, with damage quite yet, so I'm going to go ahead and get an early, uh, to, go to get this morale boost started I should say. Cauterize. Cauterize could be helpful. I'm going to go the Cauterize as well. Since we don't have a, uh, an, any heals, I, I might consider going the Veteran as well, where I heal a little bit faster, or heal more, excuse me, when I'm, uh... Let me try to help my buddy here. I'm going full. I'm going to stick closer to the hill now. Alright, well, no one really pushed out, so I'm going to take this. Take this for free right now. Try to finish this Tyra. There it is. I'm not sure what she was doing. 
But it's just kind of giving this to us, to be honest, right now, ladies and gents. And I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm completely fine with this. Well, this sucks. Mistakes were made. So again, even though you saw me Attack making some flank routes, my goal is always to play that, that front line position. It should always be what you're thinking when you're playing these characters. One of the biggest issues in the end is a lot of times is people play these characters wanting to do a... Oh my god, that's too bad. Oh, that's too bad. I took way too much. I was a surprising amount of damage from that uh, that Maeve at first. But uh, but yeah, uh, when you're playing your roles, your, your your goal should always be to, in the end, play that role as, as best as you possibly can. You see that I'm trying to flank sometimes, it isn't completely wrong, it's is not terrible uh, as as, a, as running a frontliner, but you gotta be on that point too, baby boy. You gotta, you gotta be on that point. Unless you just have an unbelievably stacked frontline team and you can kinda just have one of you guys, one of you guys roaming. For the most part, you always gotta play that role. Yeah, bud. That was an easy grab for us, but, uh, okay. Beric? Ah, oh, that's too bad. Just pay a little more attention to my Androx just there, make sure he's okay. Again, sometimes, well, considering how to play flanker, sucks. get a little too ori uh, kill oriented, to be honest. Well, this sucks. Well, this sucks. Well, this sucks. Ooh. Well, this sucks. Androxus is talkative. Okay, she just gave you those. Gonna wait this out. Put well, back in, let's go. This sucks. These guys, I, I, don't, I feel like, are just ignoring me. I'm not sure if I should feel disrespected or... I have ulti, but I mean... I guess I could just use it just cause. But these guys, these boys... Not to be rude, made it a little easy for us here. Dear Speed Ninja, she probably got that ult, that, uh, that POG. With that kill she got on me. Yep. See all here? There it is, okay. She just ran me down like a dog. <laughs> then she just ran into those seedlings. Okay, so again, McCullough is absolutely just, he's a fantastic frontliner. In my opinion, he should always be one of the top picks. Him with a Torvald frontline, uh, obviously with a, with a healer, like Saris. Um, honestly, pretty much any healer at that point. Uh, it just obviously makes Bakoa that much more powerful. His ult is fantastic. His grab is fantastic. Great at, uh, at countering a lot of these frontliners like the Torvald because you can interrupt Torvald in the middle of his uh, shield casting, which honestly is uh, what makes Torvald so difficult to deal with is the fact that he's able to, to shield and basically mitigate shield, <laughs> gain shield back as you're damaging him. Um, so Bakoa is fantastic. Uh, he's pretty much, you can never go wrong with him as a frontliner. There's pretty much no situation. He works with pretty much every single comp. I haven't seen a comp that he does not work with. Um, and I would highly recommend picking him as a frontliner. You should definitely add him to your repertoire. Um, I'm going to be playing more of him. Get some more videos up of just more characters in general. I know I tend to focus on the frontliners. Um, but like I said, I feel like I have a, a decent understanding of how to play each role as they should be played. Not necessarily that I'm a perfect or a master at each character individually, but I understand what you should be doing for the most part in these roles. So, and that's what I'm going to be kind of providing is just a general aspect, general idea of how you should be playing uh, each role, and then obviously how you perfect that and how you go about your own playstyles is uh, going to be up to you. So, I hope you enjoyed this video of Bacoa. Definitely going to be running some more of these. Um, hit the like button, hit that subscribe. Let me know what you think. Any of the characters you'd like me to focus on, say something in the comments. Either way, appreciate you guys stopping by. I love you dearly. Uh, and see you next time. It's your boy Striden. Let's go.